Ryan here. Now playing groups of five against the Mozambique pattern. This will be, I did this in the samba, so exercises many, many months ago, where you play one sixteenth note, miss one sixteenth note, play one sixteenth note and miss two sixteenth notes. So it's like going right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, and not just playing the right hand. We went like, you could go left, right, left, right, right, the same thing. The, those two single notes, what you're playing. So over a bass drum pulse, you'd have this. That's in 5-4. Now, being in 5-4, I guess the most bigger pattern, or any pattern in 4-4, it'll start on the count of one. Next, when you've gone through five beats, it'll start on the count of two of the second bar, then on the count of three of the next bar, then on the count of four of the fourth bar, which will make five bars in total, because there's five counts each. So I'm gonna go through each bar, and then we'll put the whole thing together. So we're gonna have one and two E, A, uh, and four, a one E. Gonna put that against the most bigger pattern. So we've got one and, pretty simple. Okay, one and two e, uh, and four, a one e. When I'm doing that, I've got to be aware that when I'm playing the pattern, I've got to hear dun dun ga gun gun ga gun ga gun ga gun ga gun the whole time. I can't lose that. That's in here. I can't lose that. So I've got to know when I go like. That's two e. I need to know that. I don't say two e, but I feel two there. I must know what that is. You, know, you can't lose the count of one, um, unless you're playing aleatoric music. Aleatoric music, which has no tempo, no set key signature, it's just a noise, which is great. It's not that. This is set. Anyway, so um, I'll put, I'll play the bass pattern with my feet, and I'll just play this. So I'll play for a bar. You watch what I do. Here we go. That's the first uh, part of it. Well, now next lesson we'll go through starting on the count of two and going to the count of three of the next bar. Woohoo!